Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried by yourself. So let's my turn to give you the right answer. So let's start. Which of the below mentioned dicarboxylic acid, two carboxylic acid can undergo dehydration to the corresponding anhydride under mildest condition? comparatively okay so four so it's actually c3 it's actually c4 it's actually c5 and it is actually c6 carboxylic acid so you have to say which will undergo anhydride formation and by the way from tricarboxylic acid to anhydride means it is nothing but water elimination reaction so question who undergo water elimination most efficiently and result in a cyclic anhydride formation. By the way, in this context, I suggest to you student, please let's draw the anhydrides from every dicarboxylic acid. So this is carbonyl attached to one oxygen anhydride. So water elimination. So same if you remove water, it, it was a four member. So right now, no, it's a, it is a four member. So it will be three plus two, five, six member. So it will be a six member. So you don't need to do that much hard work at all. This is, this is the anhydride. Now here it's a C4. So it's a five member. If you remove water, it will produce. So let's draw a five member ring to carbonyl in between oxygen, this is, and these one, so it was a C5, from C5 we got 6 member, from C4 5 member, so from C6 we shall get a 7 member ring. Let's look how I am drawing, it is difficult, many students do mistake, no, this is, so in this way all anhydrides, so these all are actually anhydrides. Now question, if I ask you who is more stable, so obviously you will say sir, this either C5 member ring or this C6 member. So the among these two, someone will be stable. Actually student in this context, now ring stability is undoubtedly six member ring is maximum stable strength free, but it is not an ideal, this cyclohexane type ring. Why I'm saying? Because in cyclohexane, all carbons, all carbons are sp3 hybridized. But here, if you look at, in this case, there are two sp2 hybridized carbons. So these are sp2 hybridized. So some strain is there. So actually sp2 means you can say this carbon is planar. This oxygen lone pair is in conjugation with this carbonyl. So you can expect planarity here also. And now remember one thing, five member ring are almost planar. So slight above this plane, you can expect that. Here, all the carbon atoms, this one, this one, this one, this one, these are in the same plane and this is slightly above. And if you make this is carbonyl, so it is almost planar. So from that point of view, this is from, you may consider better. Now angle strain is there, another issue. And second question, how this reaction happens? Student, suppose you have taken this carboxylic acid and you want, you are heating, then what will happen? Through intramolecular reaction, actually cyclization is student nothing but it is an intramolecular reaction. So these lone, one of these lone pair will go and attack here, it will open up, come back, it will leave and ultimately it will result in these protonated anhydride formation. So here you can expect, okay, OH, here one proton elimination. So ultimately it will end up in this product completely. Agree. Now this is easier, why? Because five member ring has planarity arrangement. So that's why this is easier, by the way. Just imagine you are trying to form a six member ring. So here one part, here another part. These are far away. So difficult little bit. 
Now, if you think of five member, this is closer, isn't it? So that's why one statement always given, five member ring formation is associated with proper conformational orientation. I repeat, five member ring formation is associated with proper conformational orientation. So they can attack very easily. That's why these derivative will be produced most easily. And this has a name, it is called succinic anhydride. Succinic anhydride. So this thing will be produced most efficiently. And by the way, during your study, you have seen, seen succinamide, uh, in bromosuccinamide, such kind of reagent, even another such kind of reagent is there, thalamide, where actually in that case, thalamide means one benzene attached. And here, so thalic anhydride, here if you use nitrogen in thalamide, etc. So everything is surrounding about these 1,4 dicarboxylic acid. Okay, so in this case, the answer will be option C. So in this case, under comparatively milder condition, the succinic acid or C4 acid will form its anhydride. Other will form. One information I want to mention student about these reagent, it's called as malonic acid. Okay, so by the way, there is a uh, rule, remember, O, M, S, G, A, P, oxalic acid, malonic acid, succinic acid, I'm not going. So here, if you look at this thing, this car car compound, if you heat, what will happen? It undergo decarboxylation and produce acetic acid plus carbon dioxide. It is called decarboxylation of beta keto acid. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this. You check either I button or description box. So it's a different. So heating will, will not allow this molecule to stabilize. So it will decompose. And by the way, other will form, but this will form most easily under mildest condition comparatively. So this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.